Let's start with SAP earnings. What are you expecting specifically for their cloud segment and also their AI products? I think it's going to be an acceleration. I think they're seeing robust numbers. And look, if you look at SAP, it's taken, a, you know, I think a little bit of a time here. But they are going to be a foundational player. I think there's going to be a huge step in the right direction on cloud. Check's actually very strong for SAP and just the broader hyperscalers. You know, when it comes to cloud, uh, SAP is actually the global leader when it comes to ERP, enterprise resource planning software. Uh, Morgan Stanley out with a, a big note. Uh, kind of looking at that, saying that it might be even a super cycle for that as well. They're saying that SAP would obviously be a beneficiary. Are you hearing similar things in your channel checks, the idea that more of that uh, ERP software that's used for human resources, manufacturing, logistics, is going from on-prem into the cloud? Yeah, I mean, it's exactly it. 45% of workloads today are in the cloud. We net goes to 70% by the end of next year. So SAP, Oracle, of course, Microsoft, Google, Amazon, huge beneficiaries there. This speaks to the second derivative of the AI revolution. It's not just about NVIDIA, Microsoft, SAP is now joining that AI party. All right. Um, the cloud uh, segment for SAP, that's supposed to see some growth while their software is actually supposed to pull back according to estimates. What can we read from SAP earnings today after the bell that'll give us some insight into the hyperscalers like Amazon, like Microsoft, sure. like Google? Huge barometer. I think you will see an acceleration on the cloud. And that's really right now, just get the popcorn out in terms of what we believe we're going to see from Microsoft, from GCP, from Google, and from Amazon. This will be, if I, if I think about the narrative, hyperscalers are going to be huge here in terms of this quarter, which I think is a barometer for just this second inning of the AI revolution. So for SAP, they're expected, or forecasted, I should say, to see 27% growth in their cloud segment year over year. Dan Niles, the, the soundbite we just played, he just mentioned that Microsoft actually missed estimates on Azure. Um, is there anything else that we should be looking for when it comes to those hyperscaler earnings that might be a sign of concern? He also mentioned Amazon as kind of a bellwether when it comes to this area. Yeah, and I think it's going to be the opposite this quarter in terms really? of strength. The reason is because of the consumption model. You see what's happening in names like Palantir, Messi of AI, and some of the others. It's the foundational hyperscalers. I think on the consumption side, you actually see acceleration this quarter, which bodes well not just for them, but what it shows now about the software phase, you talk about in that Gardner interview, that is going to be the next phase of AI playing out. I think it's what boosts this market. It's why we believe tech stocks are up another 20% next year. So I know you haven't worked out all your earnings when it comes to growth on the hyperscalers, but what's good? I mean, do they have to exceed last quarter? Is the fact that they continue to grow, is that good enough? Because one thing that was interesting in that Gardner interview is that obviously uh, the growth when it comes to data centers is, is expected to slow down year over year. Uh, this year was 35%. Next year is supposed to be over 15%. Yeah, I think it's slow down, but actually from a stack perspective, the software piece, they're going to get more and more share. You look at Microsoft, I think what we're going to see across Microsoft, Amazon, Google, beaten raises across the board on cloud. I think what that shows is enterprises, they are spending more and more. It's a trillion dollars of incremental capex. This is now all playing out. If you think about the script, the second derivative, the third derivative, the rest of tech now join the AI party. And I think that's really going to be what's playing out here. It all starts with the hyperscalers. SAP, I think, starts that party off. Before we let you go, you mentioned CapEx spending. So a couple quarters ago, we saw Meta actually get hit. Uh, investors seem to think they spent too much on CapEx. This time around, when we're looking at earnings, how, how are investors looking at CapEx? Do they want to see another acceleration? Do they want to see a slowdown? I think they want to see another acceleration because the, the last thing, if you look at Meta, maybe at first that was the initial knee-jerk reaction. You want to see them aggressively doubling down on AI because it shows if they're seeing the actual ROI, that's a because that's really what's going to fuel 2025 Meta career beneficiary of that.